Hola guys and what's up? So today we are going to answer a few questions uh, regarding of course a uh, vector and maybe uh, we are we are going to answer a few questions regarding the addition of vector. So uh, last time uh, in the previous video I asked you guys to uh, answer the question 2. So let's discuss this question 2. Question 1 we already covered in the previous video, right? So question 2, so diagram 4 shows the trapezium A, B, C, D. So given P uh, is the in the matrix form 3, 4 and Q, vector, vector Q is in the matrix form K minus 1, 2 where K is a constant. So find the value of K. So first of all, list uh, list on all the informations given. So this is our information given. So we know that P, uh, vector P, okay, parallel to Q or in this notation. So over here, you can see the symbol indicating it is parallel. So you can represent it mathematically as vector P is equivalent to lambda Q. So where lambda is a constant. Constant. Okay, so you can uh, see my previous video regarding this parallel vector. And we substitute what is P and what is Q and okay, we equate the Y component which is 4. So lambda times 2 is 2 lambda equivalent to 4. Basically we just equate the Y component. So we get lambda equivalent to 2. And then we equate the X component. So we get 3 which is this is equivalent to 2 which is the lambda times K minus 1. So we Simplify this algebraically and we get k equivalent to 5 over 2. Done. So next question is question 3. So question 3 over here. This is the continuation. So diagram 10 shows a regular hexagon with center O. So let's take a look. This is the hexagon. So express AC plus CE plus CB in a single vector. So... Uh, I have drawn you the hexagon over here. So, <clears throat> okay, take a look that CB is equivalent to EF. Why? Because we know regular hexagon, they have all uh, same side, same length of the side. And observe that CB is parallel to EF. So we can use this expression. So we can substitute CB into this uh, CB as EF, so like that. So we have new expression which is AE plus CE plus EF. Okay, I substitute the CB with EF. And using cancellation method, using cancellation method, we, we get uh, over here a, a F supposedly. AF, okay. AF, uh, sorry. Uh, the F so this and that cancels and this and that cancels so we just left with A and F right okay all or the alternative you can see over here the alternative is how so AE AE when you want to travel from A to E is the same thing as you travel from A to A uh, A to B and B to C, right? Okay, this is for the AC. How about for C E? When you want to travel from C to E, you can travel from C to D first and then D to E. Okay, and how about CB? Since CB is equivalent to EF, so this is CB. When you want to travel from uh, E to F, is over here. So, total up. You are here and you stop here. You are here. You go around this and you stop here. It's the same thing you travel from here to here. Which is A to F, right? So A to F. Same answer as previous method. Okay, so next. Okay. Uh, I think question 4. So, uh, diagram 16 shows a parallelogram ODEF drawn on the Chatterson 
plane. So you can see this is a parallelogram. Given that OD equivalent to 3i plus 2j, so I list up the information, all of the information. DE is, is equivalent to negative 5i plus 3j. And we are required to find DF. So DF is simply uh, DE plus EF. So basically, I'm using uh, the normal method, which is, which is when we want to go from D to F. D to F, we can go from D to E first and then to E to F, right? Or you can use our trick, which is the cancellation method. And since we know that OD is equivalent to FE, okay, but we want to find EF. And since EF, uh, since we know, we don't have in this information, but we have this information, right? Okay, so we just, uh, since EF is just the negative version of FE, so we just put negative OD is equivalent to EF like that. Okay, so we get EF is equivalent to negative OD, which is negative 3i negative 2j. And then we substitute DF is equivalent to, we get our DE, which is negative 5i plus 3j. Okay. And then plus with the EF, which is we already get over here, negative 3i, negative 2j, and we just do the operation and we get negative 8i plus j, okay? Next is question 5. Okay, it is given that the vector r is at minus 2 and s is h7. Let's stop the information. Okay, express the vector r plus s. So we just do the basic algebra and we get our r plus s, r vector r plus s, uh, vector s is equivalent to at plus h5 in the matrix form. And b, given that the magnitude, magnitude of r plus s is 13, so we know that magnitude of this is 13. Okay, and we know that, okay, this is the previous one we get. And we can express in this, uh, in this x and y component, so in terms of i and j. And we can use the Pythagorean theorem to get, so I hope you still remember this formula. So x component, this is i represented, representing x component, and this is j representing y component, square and set them all and equivalent to 13 so this is the magnitude and we we eliminate the set we get this at plus h square all square plus 25 is equivalent to 169 and do the algebra you can expand this first and you get what in a quadratic form and simplify and you get h square plus 16 h minus 18 and you factorize and you get what h equivalent to 4 or h equivalent to negative 12, uh, 20, sorry, which is uh, being rejected because we want the negative, uh, the positive version only. So h equivalent to 4. Okay. Okay, next question. Next and the last, I think. Diagram 15 shows the vector OA, OB, and OP drawn in the grid of equal square with side of one unit. So what is magnitude of OP? So we can use simply use the theorem Pythagoras. Okay, so over here I put x over here so that you can see. So vector OP is nothing but just vector OX plus XP. And we want to find the magnitude only. So you can square the OX plus XP square and set them all to get like this. Simplify and to get three set two units. <clears throat> okay, how about question B? OP in terms of A and B. Okay. We know OP is over here. And actually, as you can uh, see here, I extend the vector B to B to B. 
meaning two times back to B, like that. And I drawn from here, I already extend, I drawn a vector line which is parallel to A, but in the opposite direction. So I denoted by negative A. So when you want to travel from A to P, it's the same thing when you travel to from here, O to here, I given by, probably I given by C, from A O to C and C to P is the same thing, travel from O to P. So O to C is vector B, a uh, vector to B because here is B and I extend uh, one times of B and you plus to be to B right. So this is total up to be to B. And then from here you travel from C to P which is negative a because uh, opposite direction so this is our final answer okay so i hope you guys understand uh, that concept and that's all i think thank you and yeah have a nice day